August 2006, and young men take to the practice field once again with hopes of victory in the South Piedmont Conference. Like previous years, Coach Easy Smith was looking for something to click with his 2006 Spiders. Like any coach would, he wanted to relive the 2004 championship year. So when August 18th rolled around, he felt his team was ready to do battle. Friday night under the lights started like so many other seasons in Spiderville. Vance arrived at Bailey Stadium. Concord would score on a 52-yard punt return by Lance Lewis for a touchdown. Chad Myers would add the point after. Key blocks in the drive by D. Bost, Matt Josie, Calvin Hilly, and Anthony Haney would help seal the score. Later in the game on third and 15, Jimmy Dry would hit D. Bost. Bost breaks back across the field, picks up a crushing block from Dustin Burris, and would go 37 yards for the touchdown. Chad Myers would add the point after. Other than those two scores, it was not the greatest start of a season. But Coach Smith still remembered that first defeat in 2004 at the hands of Northwest Cabarrus and knew that all hope was not yet lost. August 25th, the only team to mar the almost perfect season in 04 were the Trojans of Northwest Cabarrus. And as this intra-county rivalry faced off again, as always, playing at Northwest was never easy. The Spider defense stops the sweep play, led by Norman Young, Calvin Hilly, Ryan Chance, Reese Harris, and Nathaniel Settergren. Next for Concord, defensive tackle Mike Moore forces the receiver back into Matt Josie, Calvin Hilly, and Nathaniel Settergren. With Northwest Cabarrus threatening again late in the fourth quarter, D. Boss would make a TD saving interception. When the final second had ticked away, it was Northwest Cabarrus 16, Concord 6. The Spiders were now 0 and 2. September 1st, and J.M. Robinson comes to Bailey Stadium, wanting to make it 0-3 for the troubled Spiders. Something wasn't quite right, and for the last two weeks, Coach Smith could not quite put his finger on it. On fourth and goal for the Spiders, Jimmy Dry would run through four tackles for an eight-yard touchdown. On the very next play, Jimmy Dry hits Lance Lewis in the flat, and he cuts, spins, and maneuvers through the Robinson secondary for a TD. But once again, the Spiders would fall short by one point and lose to J.M. Robinson 13-12. It was now 0-3 for the troubled Concord Spiders. 0-3 oh, and, and thoughts of even the South Piedmont Conference title began to slip away in the minds of the residents of Spiderville. It is during these times that boys become men and warriors reach deep within themselves to realize their true character. At the conclusion of the Robinson game, as the head football coach, I really had to reevaluate our position as of that point. So we went back into the field house, we met as a team and a staff, and I had to contemplate what changes had to be made in order for us to get our season rolling. We were so disappointed because we had 18 starters coming back and we felt like we had a good chance to make a run for a state championship. But at this point being 0-3, I knew we had to make changes. My first change had to go at quarterback. 
So I decided to take D. Balls, who was a defensive back and a wide receiver, and place him at quarterback. I asked Jimmy Dry to move to receiver, his more natural position, which he did with great grace. I asked Lance Lewis to leave the position of tailback and go back to his favorite position as the wide receiver, the best one in the state. Then we had one other change that we needed, and that was to get us a fullback-tailback combination. Mike Moore would fill the void at fullback. He would switch from nose guard to become our leading ground gator at fullback. And then we took sophomore Roger Smith, who had moved to us from Kannapolis, became eligible going into the Mount Pleasant game, and we placed him at tailback. Once we got this combination of skilled players together to add along with Matt Beecher, Dustin Burris, and the offensive line that we had, we knew we had the ability to move the football, score points, and win football games. And from that point on, the Spider Gold Rush offense was at its best. At 0-3, it was time to test the adjustments made after Robinson to see if this season could be turned around. The Tigers of Mount Pleasant would be the first to see the newest incarnation of the Spider Machine. With the Tigers driving, Sam Craven causes a fumble and Norman Young would recover. With 5.33 to go in the first half and the score tied at zero, Delano Johnson bats down a potential reception to force a Mount Pleasant punt. With less than five minutes to go in the half, Concord would take over on their own 40-yard line and score in three plays to take a 6-0 lead. The scoring drive was highlighted by a 30-yard completion to former quarterback and now slot back Jimmy Dry. A 25-yard run by sophomore tailback Roger Smith behind the blocking of fullback Matt Beecher, tackle Delano Johnson and Lance Lewis. On the Tigers' ensuing possession, linebacker Calvin Hilly would intercept a pass and return it 32 yards to the Mount Pleasant 18-yard line. DeBost would finish the drive by carrying the ball into the end zone behind the blocking of Hunter Morris, Delano Johnson, and Lance Lewis. The first half would end with Marcus Rouse and Delano Johnson blocking consecutive pass attempts by the Mount Pleasant quarterback. Halftime score, Concord 12, Mount Pleasant nothing. In the second half, after a stalled drive, Concord would decide to settle for a 29-yard field goal by Chad Myers. Under a full moon, D. Boss would fire a 28-yard touchdown pass to Jimmy Dry. Chad seldom miss Myers would add the extra point to make the score 22-0. Another three-play drive began with an eight-yard run by junior fullback Antoine Haney. Then a 25-yard run by quarterback D. Bost. And then a 24-yard TD pass from D. Bost to split in Lance Lewis. The final play of the game, 
would be an interception by C.J. Wise. It was a long road ahead, but the Spiders had turned the corner. Concord 28, Mount Pleasant 7. The jinx was broken. The change of quarterback to receiver and vice versa certainly clicked in the Mount Pleasant game. But it would take more than one win to get the attention of the SPC and all the inhabitants of Spiderville. September 15th brings the Vikings of Central Cabarrus to town and the Spiders look for win number two. To start things off for the Spiders, Deep Bost would roll to his left and hit tight end Matt Beecher for a 10-yard gain. Then Roger Smith breaks a tackle for 15 more yards. Fullback Mike Moore would bang ahead for seven yards behind tough blocking of Anthony Haney, Hunter Morris, and Clint Scarborough. Roger Smith would again sweep left end behind Matt Beecher, Delano Johnson, and Dustin Burris. Following a penalty, Roger Smith would take the ball all the way to the Central Cabrera seven yard line. Then quarterback D. Boss throws a quick hitch pass to Lance Lewis for a seven yard touchdown. The point after by Chad Myers is good. Concord 7, Central Cabarrus nothing. Next up, defensive tackle Norman Young forces the quarterback out of the pocket for a sack with help from Sam Craven and Calvin Hilly. Then on third down, Ryan Chance would sack the quarterback to force a Central Cabarrus punt. Excellent defensive play puts the Spiders in good position. And behind the blocking of Justin St. John and Clint Scarborough, quarterback D. Boss will complete a 23-yard pass to tight end Matt Beecher. Avoiding a sack, D. Boss would lay one up for Matt Beecher, who takes it for a 24-yard gain. After a penalty and a sack, Concord is forced to kick a field goal. Chad Myers would connect from 44 yards this time to give the Spiders a 10-0 advantage. Early in the second quarter, with Central Cabarrus at midfield, linebackers Calvin Hilly and Nathaniel Settergren make the hit, forcing a fumble that junior Matt Josie quickly recovers. Stellar defensive play again by Mike Moore and Calvin Hilly will put the stop on a Central Cabarrus reverse attempt. Norman Young would then cause another Central Cabarrus fumble. Former Viking player turned spider Reese Harris would then tip away a pass in the flat. Spider back Matt Josie would break up a pass to force a Central Cabarrus punt. The entire game was filled with stellar defensive play from people like Delano Johnson. It was halftime and the score was Concord 10, Central Cabarrus 3. In the second half, Roger Smith would score from the four yard line. Chris Pearson's snap to Dustin Burris is perfect and Chad Myers makes the score 17-3 Spiders. Reese Harris would then go over top the receiver to make this stellar interception, putting the ball back in the hands of the very dangerous Spider offense. The offensive line did their part behind excellent line blocking of 56 yard pinpoint pass from D Boss to Dustin Burris, who broke two tackles and got into the end zone, making the score 23-3. With 6.34 to go in the game and leading 23-10,
DeBost would then find Lance Lewis alone in the flat. Lewis turned the gain into a 55-yard touchdown run, and the score was Concord 29, Central Cabarrus 10. Lance Lewis would then seal the game with a final interception. The score, Concord 29, Central Cabarrus 17. During this pregame ceremony, the Spiders would honor former player, the late Stan Bost. Stan's family was on hand at Bailey Stadium to be greeted by the team as they dedicated this game to Stan's memory. September 22nd brought the cooler nights of fall to Bailey Stadium and a chance for the newly recharged Spiders to pull even at 3-3. Three and three. Just by doing that, Coach E.Z. Smith and his staff would have felt that their season could begin anew with no more losses than wins. A victory tonight would bring a welcome sigh of relief to Spiderville. Porter Ridge comes to Concord High School. To start things off, tailback Roger Smith would cut, spin, and wiggle for 11 yards behind Matt Beecher, Delano Johnson, and Clint Scarborough. Quarterback D. Boss hits Lance Lewis on a fade pattern for a 10-yard touchdown. The point after by Chad Myers is good. Concord 7, Porter Ridge nothing. A strong spider defense charged up from last week's win led by Sam Craven, Nathaniel Settergren, Calvin Hilly, and Mike Moore stopped the running back for a two-yard loss. Then Calvin Hilly, Ryan Chance, and Nathaniel Settergren stopped the quarterback dead in his tracks. With the Spiders back on offense, D. Boss then hit senior tight end Bruce Presley for another 20 yards and a spider first down. Seeing man coverage and a blitz coming, D. Boss would check off at the line of scrimmage, hitting Lance Lewis on a deep route for a 25-yard touchdown and a 13-0 lead, which would hold up until halftime. Roger Smith would then run the delay for 12 yards behind Delano Johnson, Clint Scarborough, and Hunter Morris. D. Boss would connect with Lance Lewis on a slant pattern for another 32-yard gain. After a penalty moved the ball back to the 18, D. Boss would then hit Dustin Burris on a post pattern for another spider score. This time, the two-point conversion pass to Matt Beecher would be good. Concord 21, Porter Ridge 7. The Spider kickoff team did their job with great coverage from Bruce Presley, Scott Grant, and Larry Johnson. A recharged defense led by Mike Moore would stop the Porter Ridge dive attempt. Nathaniel Settergren would force the pitch and Calvin Hilly would clean up the option back. Great play from senior nose guard Sam Craven who would tackle the running back for another loss. Then, to add insult to injury, Delano Johnson would stop the runner for no gain. On third and 12, with Concord leading 21-16, Nathaniel Settergren and Ryan Chance would force the quarterback into the waiting arms of Delano Johnson. Final score, 21-16. And the Spiders were even at 3-3. Three and three. When the leaves of October began to cover the landscape, the season was starting anew for the Spider-Men, who at three and three were running like a finely tuned engine. Adjustments made a few weeks ago were starting to pay off, 
and the spiders took their arachnophobia roadshow to beautiful downtown Parkwood to ruin their weekend. Instead of making Parkwood wonder what was up, the spiders decided to bring the pain early. Lance Lewis would begin the game with a 33-yard kickoff return. Then fullback Mike Moore would blast behind Hunter Morris, Anthony Haney, Ronald Cox, and Delano Johnson for 22 more yards. Roger Smith follows the leads of Justin St. John, Ronald Cox, and Delano Johnson and gets 12 more and the Spider first down. Clint Scarborough and Hunter Morris would open a hole big enough for Roger Smith to run the inside trap for five more yards. Not done yet, Roger Smith falls in behind the blocking of Matt Beecher, Ronald Cox and Justin St. John all the way to the eight yard line and a first and goal. Now it's time for quarterback D. Bost, who bootlegs the ball all the way to the one yard line. Quarterback D. Bost would then attempt to leap over the goal line, but fumbles into the waiting arms of tight end Matt Beecher, who recovers it for a spider touchdown. Chad Myers would kick the point after, and Concord leads seven to nothing. One noticeable improvement in 2006 was the play of the Spider defense. And Mike Moore would get great penetration and tackles the Parkwood quarterback for a loss, along with a little help from his friends Calvin Hilly, Nathaniel Sedergren, and Matt Josie. More great defensive play as Delano Johnson and Matt Josie stopped this play cold. Trailing 13-7 and needing a big play, seniors Mike Moore and Calvin Hilly stop the reverse that forces a Parkwood punt. Needing a huge first down on third and 10, D. Bost would hit flanker Dustin Burris on a 57-yard fade. Next up, Roger Give Me the Ball Smith would scamper through the middle of the line and net 22 yards. Quarterback D. Bost would power into the end zone to tie the score at 13 apiece. Chad, seldom miss Myers, is good to go. And Concord now is up 14-13. Next up for the Spider defense, Reese Harris along with Nathaniel Settergren would rough up the Parkwood runners all night long. To close the half, Chad Myers would kick a 21-yard field goal for a 17-13 halftime lead. The second half would begin with Roger Smith returning a punt for 24 yards all the way to the Parkwood 45-yard line. Next, the give is to fullback Mike Moore, who drives ahead for 10 yards. D. Bost would then drop back for 20 yards to Jimmy Dry. The Concord offense continued to move the ball as Roger Smith fights for yardage behind the blocking of Delano Johnson, Clint Scarborough, and Hunter Morris, all the way to the seven yard line. Roger Smith would then power the ball all the way to the one behind Mike Moore. The give is to Moore who finishes the drive by bulldozing one yard for the touchdown. Chad Myers point after is good and the score is 24-13 Spiders. 
With Parkwood threatening to score at the five-yard line, the Spider defense held tough. Mike Moore stripped the ball carrier, and Matt Josie recovered the fumble, giving the Spider offense one more shot to score points. Now with the score 24-19 and Concord on their own one-yard line, with a third and 22 facing them, D. Bost would drop back and find Dustin Burris for the first down, a gain of 23 yards. Senior standout Lance Lewis would then take the pitch and go for an additional 20. D. Boss would then make his second big play of the drive by avoiding tacklers, reversing his field, and faking defenders into the ground for 45 more spider yards. Mike Moore would then follow the line into the end zone for the touchdown and a score of 30 to 19. Spider free safety Thomas Pack would thwart any chance of a comeback with an interception off a deflected pass to end the game. Concord 30, Parkwood 19. The Spiders now 4 and 3. Kannapolis comes to Bailey Stadium. During the pregame, Barbara Hayes, representing her husband, Congressman Robin Hayes, along with Team Dr. Hector Henry, an active member of the U.S. military, participated in a midfield ceremony to honor U.S. fighting men and women at home and abroad in Iraq and Afghanistan. Now four and three, the Spiders were starting to run on all eight legs. But last year, the Wonders had stolen the bell. And although Concord's season seemed to be turning around, all who follow this rivalry know that to some, so goes the Kannapolis game, goes the season. The visiting side tonight would go home in a state of dazed wonder. On second and goal, Mike Moore ran the inside zone play for the four-yard touchdown. Chad seldom miss Myers was good, and Concord led 7-6. Lance Lewis again sets the CHS offense up by returning the kickoff 50 yards to the K-Town 25-yard line. On third and five from the 20, quarterback D. Boss throws a laser into triple coverage that was tipped, but Lance Lewis stayed with it and scored the touchdown. Chad Myers point after was good, and the score was tied at 14 apiece. The Spider defense was no less than stellar as Calvin Hilly makes the read and stops the Wonders cold. More great defensive play from Delano Johnson as he bats down an attempted screen pass to the split end. With the score tied at 14-14 and a minute 18 to go in the first half, Kannapolis lines up for the field goal, but Calvin Hilly breaks through the wall as he did earlier and blocked the kick, scooped it up and returned it for an apparent touchdown, but a penalty would bring it back to the CHS 30 and that would be where their drive begins. DeBoss then finds Jimmy Drive for 23 more yards down to the 17-yard line. Coach Smith crosses up the Kannapolis defense by calling another running play to Roger Smith, who scores the touchdown behind Matt Beecher's blocking at the one-yard line. Holder Dustin Burris handles the low snap and Chad Myers would adjust his steps and make the point after touchdown. Halftime score, Concord 21, Kannapolis 14. And then a halftime show no one expected. The night the lights went out at Concord's Bailey Stadium. 
A 30-minute blackout left the stadium in total darkness. But even an additional rest period would not help the wonders tonight. Concord began their first possession of the second half at their own 25-yard line on three consecutive running plays. One by Roger Smith and two by Mike Moore. The Spiders move into Wonder territory to the 44-yard line. Then it's a scramble by D. Bost, who got the ball to the 16. With the ball at the three-yard line, Mike Moore follows Norman Young into the end zone for his second touchdown of the night. Chad Myers would make it 28-14. The kickoff team would then stop the Wonders on their own 31-yard line. Late in the third quarter, a threat by Kanapolis was stalled by a great defensive effort. Four plays led by Mike Moore, Norman Young, Matt Josie, and Lance Lewis would keep Kanapolis out of the end zone. Eventually, Kanapolis would cut the lead to 28-20 on a long TD pass, but Lance Lewis would keep the running back from making the two-point conversion. With 7.22 to go in the game, leading 28-20 and 90 yards away from the goal line, the Spiders began an 11-play drive, highlighted by Mike Moore as he plows ahead for 14 yards. After a penalty, Mike Moore takes the ball again for an additional 12 yards. His third consecutive carry will net 19 yards for the Spider offense. With one minute 15 left on the clock on fourth down, Mike Moore behind Bruce Presley's block scores his third touchdown of the game. Chad Myers would add the point after, making it 35-20 Spiders. And that would seem to do it. But not really. With 32.2 seconds left on the clock, Lance Lewis puts an exclamation mark on the win with an interception that he returns 65 yards for a touchdown. Chad Myers would make good on the extra point. Final score, Concord 42, Kannapolis 20. The victory bell comes home. And Concord is five and three.
At Piedmont, no one had an advantage until Ryan Chance recovered a fumble at the Concord 36-yard line. Two plays later, the Spiders had their first score. The first play, a 46-yard completion from D. Bost to Dustin Burris. On the second play, Roger Give Me the Ball Smith cut back to his right, picking up key blocks from Hunter Morris and Ronald Cox, and then sprinted the final 18 yards for the touchdown. Chad Myers would make it 7-0. This is Concord defense played to perfection. Delano Johnson checks the dive, then with help from Ryan Chance, forces the quarterback of Piedmont to option to the tailback, where Matt Beecher levels him for a big loss. A total of eight spiders converge on the wingback reverse. Ryan Chance, Norman Young, Sam Craven, Calvin Hilly, Nathaniel Settergren, Delano Johnson, Reese Harris, and Matt Beecher give another loss to Piedmont. Special teams played a big role in field position at Piedmont. This Chris Dearman punt was downed by Jimmy Dry and Antoine Haney inside the one-yard line. Not only on quarterback, but also on defense, playing Iron Man football. D. Bost goes both ways, making this diving interception. Behind great offensive line protection, quarterback D. Bost would scan the field and hit Lance Lewis with back-to-back 14-yard -back completions. D. Boss would then go to Dustin Burris on a 22-yard post pattern to the Piedmont 13. Roger Smith would score the touchdown around the end thanks to a block by Matt Beecher. Chad Myers would add the point after, and it's 14-0 Concord. Then free safety Lance Lewis steps in front of the Piedmont receiver for the interception and will go 70 yards for the touchdown. Chad Myers again, and the score is 21-0. Defensive player Delano Johnson gets a big sack after a relentless pursuit. Mike Moore and Ryan Chance would end the first half with two more quarterback sacks. To start the second half, needing a big play, defensive captain Calvin Hilly timed his blitz perfectly and gets another quarterback sack. With the score 21-9, the Piedmont quarterback trying to make something happen throws into the middle of the Concord defensive line. Calvin Hilly bats the ball into the air. Delano Johnson will grab it and rumble to the two-yard line. Lance Lewis would then follow Clint Scarborough, Norman Young, Mike Moore, Delano Johnson, and Bruce Presley into the end zone for the touchdown. Chad Myers extends the lead now to 28-9. The Spiders would take over on its own 43 and hit pay dirt in only two plays. An eight yard scamper by Roger Give Me the Ball Smith. And a 49 yard pitch and catch from D Boss to Jimmy Dry for the touchdown. Chad Myers would make the score Concord 35, Piedmont 9. Senior defensive tackle Kenny Watts got into the sack attack group with this tackle late in the fourth quarter. And senior Scott Grant gets eight yards as the game ends 35-9. And Concord is now 6-3. At 6-3, with only two more regular season games, only Sun Valley and Anson stood in the way of the Spider-Men finishing the season at 8-3. Neither stood very long.
On Concord's opening drive, 70 yards, highlighted by a screen pass from D. Boss to Roger Smith for a 14-yard pickup. After appearing to run for the first down, quarterback D. Boss would lob a pass to Roger Smith for 25 yards. Then with an empty backfield, D. Boss would isolate Lance Lewis on the defensive back and throws a perfect pass for a 12-yard touchdown. Chad Myers would add the extra point and it's 7-0 Concord. Halfway through the first quarter, the Spiders get their first break when Delano Johnson strips the ball from the runner and D. Bost will recover. This time, the offense will go 90 yards in five plays to take a 14-0 lead. D. Bost to Lance Lewis for a 74-yard touchdown strike. And the point after is good, and it's 14-0. In less than three minutes, Concord was back in the Sun Valley end zone. Mike Moore hammers the line behind Ronald Cox and Justin St. John. D. Boss would then drill a pass to Jimmy Dry for an 11-yard touchdown. Chad Myers continues to make his point afters, and it's 21-0 with 8.29 to go in the first half. The fourth break of the first half was when Sun Valley's quarterback dropped back to pass in senior Reese Harris, intercepted the pass at the 40, and would race into the end zone for the score. Chad seldom miss Myers would make it now 28-0. The Spider defense continues to stop Sun Valley again and again. Reese Harris would blitz through to take the runner down. Spider back Matt Beecher would make a tackle. D. Boss would find Roger give me the ball Smith on a screen pass for 15 yard gain. And with two defenders covering primary receiver Matt Beecher, D. Boss rolls to his right and would find a wide open Lance Lewis in the back of the end zone for a 10 yard score. Chad Myers and it's 35-0. The next Concord possession would start at their 31 and three plays later, yes, another touchdown. A 24-yard completion from D. Boss to Matt Beecher. A 38-yard touchdown pass would be to Dustin Burris. And the point after by Chad Myers is good. And it's 42-0. On second down, Lance Lewis would jump the curling route and return 40 yards for another score. Chad Myers kicks his seventh point after for the night for a 49-0 lead. To wrap up the game, excellent defensive plays by Reese Harris who blitz from his outside linebacker position for a quarterback sack. And junior defensive end Sean Smith comes hard and gets the quarterback. Final score, Concord 49, Sun Valley 6. And a team that started the season at 0-3 is now 7-3. And, and the spider machine rolls on. With only one more game left in regular season play, Coach E.Z. Smith was finally able to see the light at the end of the dark tunnel that engulfed him in August and September. He wanted desperately to envision another trip to the state championship, but was it something to think about? In 2004, his team had brought home the trophy for the first time in 75 years. Surely no one was expecting a once-in-a-lifetime event to be repeated so soon. It seems that the Spider-Man of 2006 never got that memo. Hansen tried to surprise the Spiders with an onside kick to start the game, but all it did was fuel the fire that was burning inside the Spiders. 
And after Matt Josie recovered the fumble, the onslaught began. Behind the blocking of Clint Scarborough, Justin St. John and Matt Beecher, running back Roger Give Me the Ball Smith glides for 12 yards and a spider first down. Then D. Bost would hit Lance Lewis on a slant pass and pick up 23 more. D. Bost would then cross up the Bearcats by faking the zone play to Roger Smith and takes the bootleg around left end for 10 more yards. Then Roger Smith would follow great blocking into the end zone for the touchdown. Chad Myers kicks the point and it's 7-0 after only two and a half minutes of play. The Spider defense was just as irritated about the onside kick, so they went to punish Anson's offense. Nathaniel Settergren, Ryan Chance, and Calvin Hilly set the tone for the entire game on their first defensive play. Then it was Mike Moore and Delano Johnson's turn to slam the runner. Reese Harris gets into the backfield, forces the runner to reverse his field, and the pursuit led by Mike Moore will force a five-yard loss. Not to be outdone, Delano Johnson would swat down a pass, forcing an Anson punt. The second spider possession took only four plays to score again. A spinning run by Roger Smith. A scrambling pass by D. Boss to Dustin Burris, who turned it into a 53-yard highlight that put the Spiders in scoring position. Then D. Bost hits tight end Matt Beecher for the 20-yard touchdown. Chad seldom miss Myers. Would add the point after, and it's 14-0. The Spider defense continues to keep the Bearcats out of the end zone. Reese Harris and Calvin Hilly will bulldog the wing back for a loss. Nathaniel Settergren will blitz and make sure the quarterback goes down. Back on offense on fourth and seven, Coach Smith would elect to go for the first down at the Bearcats 33. D. Boss rolls right and throws down the middle of the field to Jimmy Dry who will take it to the three-yard line for a 30-yard gain. Roger Smith would then slam into the end zone for his second touchdown of the night, and it's 20-0 Concord. After the ensuing kickoff, Norman Young would hit the runner, causing him to fumble, and Matt Beecher recovers on the Anson 42 and the offense is back in business. Lance Lewis would make a spectacular catch over two defenders for a 30-yard gain on a pass from D. Bost. D. Bost would then take the ball and fake it to Lance Lewis and keep it around left end for a TD with blocks by receivers Jimmy Dry and Dustin Burris. Chad Myers kicks the extra point, and it's 27-0 Concord. The Spider defense next forces Anson out of their game plan by stopping this run with the front wall. Keeping the receiver from getting extra yards after the catch. And a debossed one-handed interception showing his versatility at both defense and offense. When the Spiders are in control again, Roger Smith would take the pitch out, sweep to his right, and flips an option pass to Matt Beecher for the touchdown. Chad Myers point after, and it's 34-0. The Spider defense, with great plays, as two-way performer Roger Smith breaks up another pass, saving a touchdown. 
and Delano Johnson would bat down his second pass of the night to end another Anson scoring threat. After Anson finally scores, the Spiders begin a one-play drive for a 70-yard touchdown this time. D. Voss would give the ball to Roger Smith on a design trap play. And behind a seal block by Hunter Morris, Smith takes off on a 70-yard jaunt for the TD. And the score is now Concord 40, Anson 7. On the Spiders' final drive for the final touchdown, a 38-yard catch and run from D. Boss to Dustin Burris. Another completion to Lance Lewis for 17 yards. And Dustin Burris would catch a three-yard TD pass from D. Boss. Even with a big lead, the Spider defense never stops playing with great plays from Reese Harris. Sam Craven and Calvin Hilly as they stop a sweep by the fullback. Sam Craven and Delano Johnson nail the slot back for another loss. Ryan Chance would force the quarterback out of bounds. As the clock ticks down, Concord 46, Anson 20, the Spider-Man of 2006 are the champions of the South Piedmont Conference and have a record of eight and three. After a successful eight game run and now champions of the South Piedmont Conference, it was time for round one of the playoffs. The Spiders were playing with confidence and rhythm, and Coach E.Z. Smith was a big believer in the adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Enter RS Central and their turn to be the fly in the spider web. The start of the game saw the Concord offense sputtering. So the defense continues to keep it close by making plays. Ryan Chance pursues the quarterback and Dee Bost will hit the receiver just as the ball arrives for an incomplete pass. Norman Young, Ryan Chance and Calvin Hilly will stop the runner for a loss. On third and five, Calvin Hilly will track down the quarterback. And on fourth down, Delano Johnson will block the punt and ignite the Concord offense. By the blocking of Matt Beecher, Delano Johnson, Anthony Haney, Hunter Morris, Ronald Cox, and Justin St. John. Running back Roger Smith will break loose for a 25-yard gain on an inside trap. With all the focus on Roger Smith, quarterback D. Boss would then fake a handoff and slip into the corner of the end zone for a 6-3 lead. With the defense now controlling the battle for field position, RS Central has to punt. Enter Mr. Versatility, Lance Lewis, who returns the punt 31 yards to the 19. From here, Roger Smith decides he will not be stopped before he hits the end zone. He takes the inside handoff will zig and zag his way to the five-yard line, then break two tackles and score a touchdown. The two-point conversion pass to Lance Lewis will be good and a 14-3 lead. With 2.06 to go in the first half, D. Boss will find Lance Lewis all alone in the left flat. Lance shakes two defenders and scores easily. Coach Smith decides to go for two again. And Mike Moore goes in untouched, thanks to great blocks from Matt Beecher, Justin St. John, Calvin Hilly, and Norman Young. It's Concord 22, RS Central 3. D. Bost again shows why he is so valuable to the team on these two plays. 
giving a helping hand to Reese Harris and deflecting a pass, then intercepting a deflected pass to give the Spider offense the ball one more time. With less than a minute to go in the half and 50 yards away from Paydirt, D. Boss empties the backfield, sprints to his right and delivers a pass to Matt Beecher for a 37-yard gain. With 34.2 seconds left, D. Boss will drop back and find Lance Lewis again in the flat for a 13-yard score. Chad Myers adds the extra point, and it's 29-3, Concord. Great defensive protection from Hunter Morris. Anthony Haney and Delano Johnson allows D. Bost enough time to wait for Dustin Burris to clear the coverage for this 35-yard gain to the 14-yard line. And with only 2.4 seconds remaining, Chad Myers will kick a 25-yard field goal from the snap of Clint Scarborough and the hold of Dustin Burris. Halftime score in this first playoff game. Concord 32, RS Central 3. The defense started the second half with a vengeance. Sam Craven, Delano Johnson, Calvin Hilly, and Matt Beecher put the clamps on. Mike Moore will force the quarterback to run inside, and as Sam Craven, Nathaniel Settergren, and Ryan Chance hit him, the ball will pop up into the waiting arms of Norman Young, who lumbers ahead for 10 yards. After the turnover, Jimmy Dry makes three catches, one for 14 yards. The next two would be nullified by penalties. So the Spiders drive 51 yards. Mike Moore will plunge ahead for the touchdown. Chad Myers makes it 39-3. Stellar defensive play rounds out the game from Sam Craven and Ryan Chance, who sacked the RS Central quarterback. Sam Craven again, this time with Marcus Rouse, sacked the quarterback. And Chris Dearman blasts the 47-yard punt that would be rolled dead at the 14. Time runs out on RS Central. And it's Concord 39, RS Central 9. And the Spiders are 9 and 3. In 2004, the Spiders had to score three touchdowns in less than five minutes to outscore Asheville in the closing seconds and advance to the next round by only one point. This time, one thing was certain. The Asheville fans would not leave early this night or count their chickens before they hatched. Asheville proved a tough opponent for the District 3A championship game, but came up short against a Spider team determined to let nothing stand in their way. With Asheville leading 7-0, Coach Smith called for another play of the week. On film, Asheville always kicked to their right, so the Spiders set up their return accordingly. The ball was kicked to Dustin Burris, who proceeded upfield, stopped and threw a lateral across the field to return specialist Lance Lewis. With key blocks from Matt Beecher, Roger Smith, and Charles Hood, Lance Lewis went 85 yards for the score. Chad Myers would tie the game at seven apiece. Reese Harris, Ryan Chance, and Matt Beecher would stop the runner for a loss as the Spider defense took the field. Reese Harris again would cause an incomplete pass. Concord would begin its 76-yard touchdown drive of seven plays, highlighting Hunter Morris and Clint Scarborough spring Roger Smith for 13 yards. Behind Ronald Cox and Justin St. John, D. Bost would hit tight end Matt Beecher. Then came fullback Mike Moore as he jogs into the end zone untouched to finish the 74-yard drive. Chad Myers again, and it's 14-7.
More spider defensive play from Norman Young, who defeats a blocker and tackles the fullback for no gain. Delano Johnson and Nathaniel Settergren are not fooled by the fake to the back and slam the quarterback to the turf. <laughs> The spider defense swarms the running back led by Calvin Hilly, Matt Beecher, Nathaniel Settergren, and Delano Johnson. With a minute 40 to go in the half and fourth down, Asheville lines up for a field goal. But Delano Johnson will block this attempt, and the half ends 14-7 Concord. To start the second half, the front four of Ryan Chance, Norman Young, Sam Craven, and Delano Johnson continue to pressure the quarterback, and he's sacked. Ah! The Spiders would begin its game-clinching touchdown drive at its own 42-yard line. Highlighted by a 12-yard scamper by Dee Post, who got the ball into Cougar territory. Next would come a run by Roger Give Me the Ball Smith, keyed by blocks from Hunter Morris, Clint Scarborough, and Delano Johnson. After a penalty, D. Boss would rip a 45 yard pass to Jimmy Dry all the way to the one. On the scoring drive, D. Boss would bootleg inside a block by Bruce Presley and slide in for the touchdown. Chad Myers was true again and a 21-13 lead by the Spiders. Now it was time for the defense to flex its muscles. Nose guard Mike Moore along with linebackers Calvin Hilly and Nathaniel Settergren would halt any runner's attempt. Reese Harris comes in and lays the wood to the back coming out of the backfield. Other highlights include Delano Johnson starting the fourth quarter with another sack. On fourth and eight from the 11, Matt Beecher and Mike Moore would force the quarterback to hurry his throw, landing the ball in the arms of Calvin Hilly. Concord would run the final five minutes off the clock, seven plays and two kneel downs. And a sigh of relief getting past a tough Asheville team, 21 to 13. Now District 3A champs and a record of 10 and three. The dream was alive. To be beaten once in a season by the Spiders of Concord would seem enough. But for some, a good beating is worth doing twice. So when it was time for the sectional championships, Anson came back for more. It was a defensive battle the first half with both teams threatening to score but neither doing so. This play would exemplify the defensive intensity as Ryan Chance, Calvin Hilly, Matt Beecher, and Lance Lewis would tackle the Anson runner for no gain. This play, Ryan Chance, Calvin Hilly, and Nathaniel Settergren would tackle the Anson runner for a loss. Then Nathaniel Settergren and Norman Young would stop the fullback once again. D. Bost and Reese Harris would come up hard to stop the wing back sweep. And on a short yardage play, Norman Young would blister the fullback. In one of the biggest defensive hits of the year, spider back Matt Beecher would come up on a quick screen pass, causing a fumble. The split end would pick it up and reverse his field only to find Mike Moore for a 15-yard loss. At halftime, it was Concord nothing, Anson nothing. 
in the second half, a play that Anson had used three weeks earlier for a big gain against the Spiders backfired when free safety Lance Lewis read it perfectly, intercepted the pass this time, and returned it 42 yards for a score. Chad Myers made it 7-3, and the Spiders had caught fire. On Anson's next possession, Roger Smith showed he could also play the deep pass. With 7.43 on the clock, he intercepted and returned it 33 yards to the Anson 47. From here, it took the offense only four plays to get in the end zone. Roger, give me the ball, Smith, would gain nine yards behind a strong spider offensive line. D-Bost hits Jimmy Dry for a five-yard completion that he quickly turns into a 20-yard gain. Avoiding a sack, D-Boss would find Lance Lewis for 10 yards. Next, D-Boss finds Lance Lewis again on a short pass and he breaks away from three tacklers and scores the touchdown. Chad Myers connects and it's 14 to three. The defense turned up the heat on the Bearcat offense with a three and out. Dustin Burris was inserted as an extra defender against the pass and shows why this was a great decision. He intercepts the pass and returns it 27 yards for the score. Chad Myers again and it's 21-3 Spiders. Concord's next possession after a penalty moved the ball back to the 20. D. Boss would drill one to Lance Lewis for the touchdown. Concord 27, Anson 3. The Spiders began the next possession at their own 25-yard line as D. Boss would hit Roger Smith on a 26-yard crossing route. Jimmy Dry makes a leaping catch of a pass thrown by D. Bost and will turn it into a 41-yard gain. Lining up in their famous big bone, the Spiders would catch Anson by surprise when Boss throws the short touchdown pass to Beecher. Chad Myers kicks the point after and it's 34-3. The Bearcats are spider-bitten twice in one year. Final score, Concord 34, Anson 3. The Spiders are the sectional champions and are now 11-3. The night of the Western Regional Championships took the Spiders away from home field advantage to Winston-Salem Carver. Tough defense and Concord's now explosive offense would ultimately advance the Spiders, but it would not be easy. Carver's strong running game was not a factor early as Calvin Hilly would hold the runner to no gain on the first play. The team of Johnson, Settergren, Beecher, and Hilly would hold the runner in check for a short gain. The wingback reverse would not fool Roger Smith, Delano Johnson, and Lance Lewis. D. Bost on defense and Nathaniel Settergren would keep the runner from making a first down. And on fourth down, Matt Beecher and Calvin Hilly would stop the running back from getting the necessary three yards and the Spiders would take over on downs. With the defense setting the tone for the game, the offense knew it had to score and move the ball on its first possession. D. Bost would find tight end Matt Beecher with single coverage and connect with him for a 28-yard gain. Roger Smith would then run behind Anthony Haney and Delano Johnson for six tough yards. 
Mike Moore would bull his way for six more behind the blocking of Hunter Morris, Ronald Cox, and Justin St. John. Just as D. Boss gets Carver to think about the running game, he crosses them up by hitting split end Lance Lewis on a fading route for a 30-yard touchdown score. Chad Myers connects and Concord's on top, 7-0. Next up, the Spider kickoff team will pin Carver deep at their eight-yard line. When the Spiders get the ball again, Mike Moore will get the offense in Carver territory with a 50-yard sprint thanks to a great trap block by guard Anthony Haney. With a fourth and goal at the three, Coach Smith goes for the sure three points. Clint Scarborough's snap, Dustin Burris's hold, makes Chad Myers kick good for a 10-0 lead. Concord's third first half possession started at their three yard line. On first down, D. Boss would toss a slant to Jimmy Drive for 13 yards. Using Lance Lewis and Dustin Burris as decoys, Boss then throws in the flat to Jimmy Dry for 14 additional yards. On third and long and sensing a blitz, Coach Smith calls for a screen pass to Roger Smith. Behind Clint Scarborough and Delano Johnson, he proceeds to go 71 yards for the score. Chad Myers is good, and it's 17-0 Concord. The first half will end with the score, Concord 17, Winston-Salem Carver 7. On to second half action on a 75-yard drive, D. Bost would use all four receivers to score. A 10-yard slant pass to split in Lance Lewis for a first down. A wheel route to slot receiver Jimmy Dry to the Carver 37. A search route to tight end Matt Beecher for 14 yards. And then a gut route to flanker Dustin Burris for 23 yards down to the two. It will then be Roger Smith bulldozing into the end zone behind center Hunter Morris. Guards Anthony Haney and Ronald Cox along with help from fullback Mike Moore for the touchdown. Chad Myers is good again, and it's 24-7 Concord. The Spiders' final defensive play came with 104 to go. With great effort from Sam Craven, Delano Johnson, Ryan Chance, and Mike Moore, all pressuring the Winston-Salem Carver quarterback. Sam Craven strips him of the ball, and Mike Moore recovers to seal the victory for the Spiders. It's all over. Concord Spiders are the Western Regional Champions. Final score, Concord 24, Winston-Salem Carver 13. The Spiders who started out 0-3 are now 12-3 and, and headed to the state championship. December 2006, a cool sunny day greets the 12 and three Spiders into the state 3A championship. The Arachnophobia Road Show rolled into Carter Finley Stadium with an entire town in tow. After a disappointing 0-3 start, it was quite a finish to be here on the NC State campus, taking on Western Alamance in the state 3A championship game. For Coach Easy Smith, his staff, and the Spider-Men, 
Second place was just the first loser. Just like every big game that's played, defense. The kicking game and field position dictate the outcome. Norman Young would stop the trap for a loss. Then Matt Beecher, Ryan Chance, Mike Moore, and Lance Lewis track down the tailback on this sweet play. Roger Smith defends the receiver and knocks down this pass. Then a bad snap allows Ryan Chance and Norman Young to give chase. The quarterback eventually ends up in Delano Johnson's sights and is sacked for a 27-yard loss. After a block punt, Western Alamance is at the Concord 25-yard line. On fourth down, they decide to kick a field goal. A high snap will cause a low kick, which Lance Lewis catches and returns 62 yards to the 20-yard line. Next up, the Spider offense begins their touchdown drive. On third down and seven, D. Boss avoids the rush and will dump a check down pass to Roger Smith, who takes it 10 yards for a first and goal at the seven. With the field stretched, Boss would hand off to fullback Mike Moore for the touchdown, behind strong blocking from Morris, Haney, and Cox. Chad Myers makes it 7 0. Time for the Concord offense to get going again. A 25-yard bootleg by D. Bost, which you would see again in overtime. The Spiders would see more flags this day than a gas station grand opening. After a penalty, D. Bost would find Lance Lewis for 22 yards. After another penalty, Boss would float the screen pass to Roger Smith. And behind the blocking of Justin St. John, he gets to the Western Alamance 38-yard line and another spider first down. D. Boss then hits Lance Lewis for 10 yards and a first down at the 28. On the next play, with the defense in his face, D. Bost will launch a spiral to the end zone. Jimmy Dry will turn, adjust, and back up for the 28-yard touchdown catch. Chad Myers will kick, and it's 14-7 Concord. Great coverage by the Spider kickoff team would pin Western Alamance deep into their own territory. With field position a factor, the Western Alamance quarterback would try to hit a quick pass, but D. Boss read it perfectly at the 17, intercepted and returned for a touchdown. Reminiscent of Kiwanis Robinson's interception against Wilson Hunt in the 2004 championship game. Chad Myers would kick, it's 21-7 with 4.01 to go in the first half. Western Alamance would not quit as they began to drive the ball toward their end zone just before halftime. Matt Beecher stops the bubble screen for a two yard loss. Then after a completion and penalty, Western Alamance had the ball at the Concord 16. With just over one minute to go, the quarterback stepped into the pocket and lofted a pass to the corner of the end zone. Free safety Lance Lewis made a leaping interception to shut down Western Alamance. Concord simply ran out the clock, satisfied with a 21-7 halftime lead. In the second half, on three consecutive plays, the front four of Sam Craven, Norman Young, Ryan Chance, and Delano Johnson, along with linebackers Calvin Hilly and Nathaniel Settergren, would limit Western Alamance to three yards 
and force another punt. The Spider defense continues to make hit after hit. Sam Craven forces the runner to run wider than he wants to. He cuts back across the field and Calvin Hilly will make the tackle. Norman Young and Sam Craven will bulldoze the running back for a loss. Then the Western Alabama's quarterback gets trucked by Calvin Hilly. Mike Moore then decides it's his turn to shine as he breaks loose and outruns the entire Western Alamance defenders for a 50-yard touchdown. Anthony Haney and Hunter Morris provided the blocks that sprung him to daylight. With 2.12 to go in the third, Chad Myers makes the score Concord 28, Western Alamance 7. But Western Alamance was not through. On three consecutive drives, they would score each time, and the score would be tied at 28 apiece. With 27.9 seconds left, they kick off and recover the ball at the Concord 19. They run one play and call a timeout to set up the winning 37-yard field goal with time running out. Before the snap, the defense jumps offside, moving the ball five yards closer. And now, it's a 32-yard field goal. And Coach Smith is sweating. Concord has three timeouts, so Coach Smith waits until right before the snap to call his first one. He then sets up a blocking scheme to keep his team alive. After Western Alamance lines up to kick, Coach Smith calls his second timeout in an effort to ice the kicker, snapper, and holder. The stands are on their feet. The kick sails wide left, and the Spiders prepare for overtime. The Spiders will go on offense first, and Coach Smith called the play that he ran earlier in the second quarter good for 20 yards. Called 11 boot. D. Boss fakes the isolation to Roger Smith and keeps it around the right end. Key blocks by flanker Dustin Burris. Tight end Matt Beecher. Tackle Justin St. John and guard Anthony Haney. D. Boss goes into the end zone untouched and Chad Myers will add the point after. It's 35-28 Concord. Western Alamance would then flood the right side of the field. The quarterback rolling to his right and with Calvin Hilly pressuring, he throws an interception directly into the arms of Matt Beecher. Final score, Concord 35, Western Alamance 28. The road to Raleigh, 13 and three, and now twice state champions in three years. The Concord Spiders of 2006 turned defeat into victory, never gave up, never surrendered, and left their mark in the record books. 
2006, the year that marked the return of the Spider-Man.